Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Scorched Earth. And I wanted to show you something that's incredibly important. That's an overpowered item that they just added to the game. And it's going to make your life so much better on Scorched Earth just to know that this exists. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick because it's not one of these three, but it helps these three things out. That is the windmill. Now, the windmill is obviously a massive item. You can see it right there, and it functions based upon the amount of wind nearby. Now, there are different wind zones, and I'll talk about everything you need to know because this thing is going to make your life experience so much better when it comes to arc because they actually increase the amount of fuel that a power generator gets. Not only that, but they also protect it from taking damage over time, which is a big problem on Scorched Earth. And uh, you should definitely capitalize on that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean by that, because I'm going to show the range here. So you can see that this generator has a fuel source of 22 minutes and 40 seconds, right? Outside of that zone, however, if I was to plop down a generator, really, you're not going to let me place it. OK, cool. I'm just going to place down a foundation and then place it down. It's going to have a heavily reduced amount of fuel. So if I go ahead and go up to gasoline, pop one of my fuels in there you're going to see it's 19 minutes and 59 seconds so per fuel the actual um windmill over here actually generates additional fuel time you can see 22 minutes and 40 seconds and then obviously this one is five hours 59 minutes i'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like just so you can see um but it literally gives you the increased per fuel it's not total fuel it's per individual fuel which is a major major difference and it will save you a lot of trouble. So the element, as so you can see what that looks like, boop, is still the same, five hours and 59 minutes. But the gas generator, it increases it pretty substantially. That's about a 15 to 20% per gasoline, saving you a lot of trouble for anything that is gas powered. Now, that could mean generator, that could mean whatever you're using it for. Um, I don't think it technically applies to things like chainsaws. Um, but 15% is a big deal. Now, what it also does is when you have your generator operating and there is a windstorm or something like that nearby, what it's going to do is inside of this bubble, what would normally happen is these power generators would take health damage from the heat storms. However, during a heat storm, this guy is going to offset the amount of damage that these guys take, which is a big difference. Now, not only does it give you that boost to the amount of per gas that you get to use, so you're like 15 to 20% more value per gas, but it's also gonna protect your generators during heat storms, which is one of the most frustrating things in the game because you don't realize it, but your generator is getting like cooked essentially during those heat storms. So having that guy up there prevents it from getting cooked and helps a crap ton. So obviously there's no direct effect on tech generators because they don't actually take damage from it. But uh, yeah, so that's that. Now, one thing that I would add in, so not only does it do it, it, both of those things, I just want to show you what it can also, so let's go ahead and plop one of these guys down and just attach it just to show you a comparison. You'll notice 2136, and then I'm going to go ahead and put another one down. And then it's 2132. So it seems to be an only direct effect of actually being, if I rotate just so you can see, um, it doesn't actually have more equals better. It's just as long as one is in the area for those windmills, you're going to have a much better day getting more fuel and then also protecting your generators because that makes a big, big difference. Now, obviously on PVP servers, most people are gonna be using the tech generator anyways, but before you get to that stage, this is going to save you a lot of time and save your power generators. And that increased gas is going to be a major difference. Now, also during those storms that you can't use your generators and stuff, definitely capitalize on the wind turbine. The wind turbine essentially functions and works as long as there is a high wind zone. So how do you read the wind and actually figure that out, right? So I'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick. If you hit your inventory, there is a 3, 2, 1, and 0% wind. 3% is pretty much anywhere that is inside. I'm going to go, and go to the map so you can actually see this, what I'm talking about right now. Um, let's go and drag this. 3% is anywhere that is considered desert zone is 3%. And then there's 2%, which is usually mountaintop regions. And then it kind of goes along the side of this right here. 1% is pretty much all of your normal zones. And then 0% is the lower you get to the ground. There can be 0% wind in some areas. Now that will more affect your wind turbine, but it will affect your windmill actually functioning. So definitely utilize that concept. But the windmill will save you a lot of trouble because adding that additional fuel 
plus protecting it from those power surges and the heat waves is a huge, huge difference. So hopefully this video helps you out and definitely capitalize on the windmill because it's going to make your day so much better to just throw one up and not have to worry about because you don't even have to maintain these things. They just exist. Now that's the cool thing, right? Go ahead and hide that range on these things, but they will save you a lot of trouble. So hopefully this video helps you out. And other than that, teach.